This week, Top Golf leaders are expecting to get final approval on permits to build this, a modern driving range in the Carillon area of St. Pete. You see it there, but tonight, there are some growing concerns from nearby residents about the impact this facility could have on their lives. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck explains what developers are doing now to help. Here's where we are right here. And then that would be the tee off area back there. Jason Ray is one of the closest residents to this 12 acre grassy area, which the developers hope to transform into a 67,000 square foot building with a driving range and 450 parking spaces. 100 yards, so to speak. So maybe a nine iron would, would get us over there. Um, it's going to be real close. While he welcomes the new development, he worries about the impacts of noise, bright lights, and traffic. Well, I'd be having a party on my porch every night, whether I want to or not. And he's not alone. More than 100 Carolina area neighbors taking their concerns straight to developers this week. Try to find a way to balance between the activity and the residents. It's really going to be a fine line. Topgolf developers are now making changes to appeal to everyone. Developers plan to use smaller LED lights and glare shields to dim lights in the outfield. They'll also use acoustic sound spray to soundproof the building, point speakers inward, and turn down the volume 25% after 11 p.m. That would all be great. It would all be helpful. But what about golf balls flying over these nets? This is a main street behind here. There's a lot of nice cars in this area. Topgolf leaders say chips inside the golf balls help identify the person who hits the ball, and they would be held responsible responsible for damages. Developers hope to open the new Top Golf in fall of 2020. I think it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be great for the community and great for the area. In St. Pete, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.